Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next email today. Uh, what is next? Great. Yeah. The next one is from David Prower. He says, hey, John, big fan. Well, I'm super stoked for Spider-Man Far From Home, I can't help but feel it's a mistake to release it right after and more importantly, market it before Avengers Endgame. I think that there is a possibility it might even hurt Endgame's box office if they're already revealing to the audience that everything works out fine. What do you think? Keep up the great work. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of concern about this, uh, that it's going to spoil Endgame. I mean, I don't know. What's your response? Do you think so? It, it, I am surprised. Look, I knew there would be some people. Like when Rogue One was coming out, mm -hmm. I knew there would be some people that confused it for the sequel to The Force Awakens. Right. And there were some. Right. So I knew that there would be some people out there that would raise an eyebrow when a Spider-Man trailer hit. I was unprepared for how many people... Went, uh, went that way. And my first response, and I put this up on Twitter last night, actually, because somebody on Twitter was asking me the exact same thing. Like, this could hurt this could hurt Endgame because now they know everything works out in Endgame. My response to that on Twitter was, well, guess what? They put out a trailer of Infinity War with Black Panther in it in Wakanda before Black Panther ever came out. Mm. Thus telling us, hey, guys, don't worry about Black Panther. Everything works out in the end. And that didn't seem to hurt Black Panther at all. Went on to make over $1.3 billion in and the box. what happened office. to him. <clears throat> yeah, he was quite fine. <laughs> so the notion that everything works out in Endgame, which, number one, we all knew. And number two, by the way, the studio has publicly announced that we know Doctor Strange 2 is coming. We know Black Panther 2 is coming. We knew Spider-Man Far From Home was coming a year ago. None of this is secretive. None of this is being kept under wraps, which also tells me that Endgame unfolds in such a way that knowing all these things isn't going to affect our viewing experience of the movie. So I just tell everybody, relax. This was all public knowledge. We all knew all this stuff beforehand anyway. And if you didn't know it, it's only because you weren't paying attention. They've made it publicly knowledgeable. So I don't see any issue here at all. What do you think? No, I look, I, I don't either. Because in my mind, it's like we still don't know if this movie takes place after Endgame, even though Feige said it was the beginning of Phase 4. Who knows what happens? I mean, who knows? We didn't see what the, happened at the end of Avengers Infinity War. We didn't see that coming either. And I, I think Marvel knows what they're doing. And, and by the way, it certainly makes me excited for why wasn't Tony Stark in this trailer? Why would he be, though? I don't know. Like, what, the, Captain America's not in the trailer. Thor's not in the trailer. But Groot's he was a big the part of the first the first. The first Spider-Man movie. Yeah, but then he's, Tony Stark, then he's gone. Where he maybe he is gone. Where'd he go? He was in and he was in he was he's in Europe. He's just following what I'm Peter saying, around. What I'm saying, John, <laughs> is maybe Tony Stark isn't around being the movie because he's not around at all. Yes, and I guess Nebula's dead too because she's not in the trailer either. Good God. Okay, but we basically agree. Yes, basically I don't agree, think it's right? gonna hurt though. Are you kidding? <clears throat> it just made me want to go see Avengers Endgame even more. Yeah, this is gonna this will feed into How does Stark it. die? It'll help. It'll help. I don't think Stark's going to die, by the way. 